The other day, I decided... Well, it wasn't really the other day. Of course, I, I'd, I'd break off my thoughts just by, you know, interjecting something that's not relevant. You know, you didn't have to know that maybe, you know, it wasn't the other day, it was the other week. I just decided to interject that for no real reason, and it's completely disrupted my fucking thought process. But the other... Sometime in the past, I was reading a fairly long uh, wiki quote uh, page on... The, the last words of famous people, or, or at least, um, at least you know, notable people, or, or interesting people. Um, and it, it really is kind of strange to me that uh, we all do have first and last words. We, there, there's a first and last to everything that we do, and I think that it's, it's relatively uh, interesting. This, this comes up a lot with um, music that I listen to. Um, I, I always try subconsciously, but, uh, you know, it does seep into my, my, for, my forethought occasionally. Um, I, I do um, try to listen to every song th that I enjoy listening to, to the very end. Um, I don't do that consciously, obviously, but, but uh, if I'm, like, you know, 50 seconds away from the end and I have to, you know, s you know, go and do something real quick, you know, wash dishes or something like that, I will more than often sit there for the remaining 50 seconds of it because... I know very well that that could be my very last time hearing that song, and I want to hear it all the way through. Um, I, I think th the last time that we do things is, is certainly more interesting than the first time that we do things. Because there, there is a first time for a lot of things in w that we do. Like for me recently, there was, it was my first time playing StarCraft, and uh, I of course sucked dick. And um, I'm going to continue playing StarCraft, but there will be one time, or sometime in the future, maybe, you know... In the, in the near future, maybe in like, you know, 20, 30, 40 years, but there will be a time when I will play my final StarCraft 2 game. And by final, I mean finale. I mean the Greek word for end. I don't quite remember it at the moment. That will be my last game. And, um... For whatever reason, I, I just, I don't know, thinking about death a lot, it's, it brings up a lot of very interesting things to me, uh, especially the first and last thing. Like, for instance, um, what I noticed, uh, I have this weird fascination with 9-11 jumpers. Um, I, I just keep getting drawn back to videos of, of that, and, like, uh, I, I don't know, like, I, I explained to Sam earlier, and I think he was recording it or something like that, but... Uh, he, I was explaining to him that I, I have a fascination with 9/11 jumpers because that's how I picture myself dying. Maybe to not that degree or, or you know that height of a fall or anything like that, but I do see myself the, the final you know few seconds of my life plummeting to the earth and uh, you know crashing and dying instantly. Uh, at least I hope it's instant. You know I, I don't want to fucking hit the ground and lay there in a bloody disembodied mess for like five seconds in the worst pain imaginable and then finally slip into death. Uh, that would be horrible. Um, and another thing about death, it's speaking about that whole thing, is I don't, I'm not quite sure. You know when you hear the, the phrase, uh, died instantly or instantly killed or something like that, you know, like being shot through the head, you know, you, re you read an article about people who, who are shot through the head and it's like, you know, died instantly or, you know, dead before they hit the ground, things like that. How in the hell do these people know that they were killed instantly? How do they know that they were just, you know, one second alive, the next second, you know, dead, without, without any consequence. I'm certain that they felt pain, at least for a second or two, uh, you know, when being shot through the head, you know? Like, I, I don't see how you could sustain an, an injury, fatal or not, and not feel the pain from it. Um, and that's why I kind of dread the whole uh, falling to my death thing. Because, you know, that's quite an impact. Uh, that, that's quite a, a thud of bloody explosion mess that you'll be leaving on the pavement. And, uh, you know, that's you. <laughs> that's you on the fucking pavement, and you're dead. And, you know, who knows if you feel pain or not. I'm not sure. I'll, I guess I'll find out one day. But, um, I, 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 when I was younger, you know, not that much younger, like two years younger than I currently am, which is, of course, 17. I am 19 now. When I was 17, I pictured myself dying in absolutely no way than killing myself. Um... To that degree, I think I've changed my views quite a bit. Uh, I, I never said that I wanted to uh, live past 30, and I was probably going to kill myself then if I hadn't, you know, you know, somehow struck it fucking rich and had the greatest life imaginable. Um, 
I, I was going to kill myself before 30. But now that I've matured a little bit, now that I've seen, you know, things through different eyes and, you know, noticed that, oh, I do have people who actually care about me now. Because, uh, you know, I was an XDT and I hated everything. But now I notice that things are beautiful and great and um, I feel foolish for actually thinking that. Um, I do think I'll end up killing myself, not because, you know, not in like a fit of rage or not in like, you know, because I'm depressed or anything like that. I'll just decide, okay, I think I've had enough of life. I don't think it's going to get any better than this. Uh, time to go. And, you know, throw myself off a building. That's how I picture myself dying. Of course, you know, that that's subject to change. I'll probably, you know, you know, f f fantasize about that later in different ways. But, uh, I don't know. Death is a very interesting topic to me. Um, I want comments to this video. Uh, I want comments telling me how you think you're going to die. Uh, now, don't get me wrong here. I don't want, like, you know, I think I'm going to drown in shit, lol, or some stupid other shit like that. I want, like, detail. I am interested in the details of death so much. Uh, in fact, so much so that I think I should be a mortician. Or like an undertaker or something. Uh, I should work with the dead. Because, I mean, for some reason, just death doesn't scare me as much as being dead. You know what I mean? Like, the 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 mysteriousness of, like, the pain factor or, or the instant kill or anything like that or, or the, uh, the, the final words or, you know, the dying in the comfort of, you know, your family or shit like that. Boring, boring way to die, by the way. It's not quite as dreadful to me as simply not existing on the planet Earth anymore. I mean, you know, I, I, my body still might exist on planet Earth, but I don't think I'll have any, like, consciousness or, or any way to feasibly interact with the world. So, my being dead will mean that I will not exist for eternity. I will be done forever in this entire fucking gigantic universe. I will be gone and dead forever. And that sucks, because I would like to, at one point, at least see the human race attempt to make an effort to maybe collaborate, sort of, to colonize space. Th that's just, space is so interesting to me. The universe is very interesting. Uh, death and the universe are interesting to me, and I've, of course, at some points, intertwined the two together uh, with, with, my, with my planetary death theory, which I do not think is... Uh, even possible or, or viable or logical whatsoever, but, you know, it's just my wishful thinking, and, you know, who fucking knows. Anyways, I thought I'd talk for a while. Goodbye.